What's going on everybody? Back with another uh, video. Uh, this video is a uh, request from a YouTuber by the name of Kane. That's K-A-N-E 5565. Now that person saw uh, on one of my recent videos I mentioned I had a Nook Color and uh, that person wanted to get one eventually but wanted to hear my opinions on it. So uh, I've never done an electronic review before, on a I mean electronic device review before, so uh, I'm just going to wing this one. Um, there's plenty of great reviews out there. I'm just going to give my own personal opinions, run through some of the most basic features of this, and um, you know, hopefully it goes well. So first off, I want to say that uh, if you're looking for primarily a reader, uh, then uh, and, and maybe with some web capabilities, this is an excellent device. For the price, it's 250 bucks. Sure, it's a little pricey. Uh, it does run Android, and recently got upgraded. And I'll show you some of the upgrade features in a little bit. Um, and it's a great device, I think. You know, if you don't want to spend like the amount of money for an iPad or anything, but if you want something with like you know 4G and a larger screen, way better graphics, yada yada yada, and all the features that this thing has, and an iPad would be, probably be a better bet. But for most of us who just want to read, like I do, I I'm just gonna get away with this thing. So let's start with the uh, externals here. It's got a nice uh, screen on there. I do have a protective shield on there. Uh, the problem with the screen, which you'll see later, is that it's highly reflective, so it is not an e-ink reader. So e-ink, of course, is a lot clearer in anything but absolute darkness. This thing is great in the darkness, let me tell you that. Um, on the outside, we got the, come on, focus. There's a dedicated uh, volume keys here, headphones, which I highly recommend because the sound on this thing uh, kind of sucks. Um, come on, power button right here. Uh, a home button here, charging port. Uh, memory card slot right there, which most people don't really notice. Uh, speakers right there. And the back is kind of, uh, it's not really smooth, it's, it's kind of grippy, a little bit grippy, kind of textured, so it's kind of nice when you're holding onto it, you don't feel like it's going to, you know, slide out of your hands or whatnot. So to turn it on, you can either press the home button here, or you can press the power button right here. So I'm just press the home button, let me get this thing uh, unlocked here. And uh, right now we're at my home screen. You can tell the home screen is customizable. I can uh, grab stuff and move it around to the home screen just like any other Android device. I can put it back here uh, and then I can swipe through. And I got, I believe I have three home screens on here. There you go. So you have plenty of books up here. Um, now, so first off, let's get to the main feature of this, which is the actual book reader. So if I click on a book, it'll just pop up and it'll go directly. It actually remembers where you were, so it doesn't matter. If you if you quit and go read another book and come back to the same uh, the, the first book, it'll actually go back to the exact same place you're at, so it's kind of nice. Uh, I have this set to page uh, to show animated pages, so when you, go, when you swipe through uh, back and forth, it'll actually show the page, uh, uh, you know, moving. You can either tap or you can go, or you can just, you know, Tap like the tap left and right, and they'll go left and right. So you can tell I have this set to nighttime mode, where it has a black background, white lettering, or you can set it to like a, a white background, black lettering, which is very harsh and high contrast on, on my eyes. So I keep it like this. Um, you tap in the middle of the screen, and you can bring out like uh, your your brightness. And see, look, see how low the brightness is right now. See if I click and hold, see it goes it goes pretty high. You know, and see how low it gets, and it's still more or less readable. So let me set it back to where it was about here. Uh, you can adjust the text size. So here you can the size. You can adjust uh, the margins and the spacing. Here's the uh, you can have it nighttime mode and all that kind of stuff. So it has a lot of uh, features, you know, just for just for this uh, uh, reader. So uh, you can whoops, come on. You can uh, uh, share with friends. You can you know quickly run through the book, uh, find the content, search for it, you know, stuff like that. So. Down here at the very bottom, you have your time, you have your battery power, and of course this little triangle is the Wi-Fi indicator. You notice I don't have Wi-Fi on because my stupid Wi-Fi is broken right now, so unfortunately I won't be able to show you guys the, the, how this thing browses on the web. Um, but you can click this little arrow, it gives you the library, which uh, which is your own, basically is like a my computer on this device. Um, also, you can shop for books from BNN right here. Search, yeah, I got your apps right, whoops, come on. Let me get out of here. Let me show you the apps here really quick. So you click on apps and uh, it just comes to a different screen and you got, got a bunch of apps here. These are all preloaded. I didn't really download any of these things so I don't really care to use. I don't actually use any of this stuff. I don't even know what's in here. So um, so then you click your home screen, you go back out 
uh, to read a magazine, magazines are kind of nice. Now, first off, when you read a real book, you can't read it in uh, landscape mode. But when you read a magazine, so this is portrait, you know, just like this. And uh, if you click the any part of the screen, you can bring up the actual magazine uh, pages, uh, page by page. So you can just scroll through quickly, skip through all the uh, ads that you don't want to read. You know, you get to a real article, you can click on it, and there you are right there. All right. Now, the beauty of it is that you can go to landscape mode. And see, very nice. You can click in the middle of the screen again. Again, it brings up the, uh, you know, uh, the actual uh, magazine uh, down here. You can click on a page that you want, or of course, you can quickly scroll through all the pages you want. Um, the other thing is, you can click this thing says article view, and what it does is it'll bring. If I can get it to work, it'll bring up uh, just the actual text only. So now you can just read it with that with the bare minimum of photographs. You know, and then plus you don't have to zoom in, zoom out, and all that, all that kind of stuff. All right. Now, in the article itself, you do have pinch to zoom, so you can you can kind of zoom in and read it. It's kind of awkward to use. I prefer to just use article view, but yeah, you can just pinch back, and you know. So, and of course, you can just scroll through uh, the pages. All right. So one last thing I'm going to show you is the web browser. Now, I since I'm not connected to the internet here, I can only show you the last page I was at. Um, whoops. Come on. So this is the last page. Now this thing actually does display YouTube. Um, get it back into portrait here. This thing does display YouTube videos. So you can see it loads it up. It actually really runs it. The sound I said in the in, in the beginning of the video really kind of sucks. Um, you can scroll through. You know you have these buttons down here which you can zoom in, zoom out. Or and this wasn't uh, evident in the in the initial re uh, release of this is that uh, you can now pinch the zoom on the web browser, which was the biggest complaint when this thing was first released. Like why the heck would you have an Android device that you can't pinch the zoom on on a web browser? So they finally put that on there. You can uh, rotate it. So now I have a nice little tablet style, you know, uh, landscape style. You know, again, pinch and zoom. Uh, so like I said, unfortunately, my Wi-Fi is not running, so I can't really show you uh, uh, very much of the browsing. It's decently quick on, uh, well, it depends on your speed, obviously, of your Wi-Fi, but this thing does not come with 4G, so you're not going to be able to browse when you're off of a Wi-Fi uh, uh, spot. But when you're at one, it's really, it's, it's a dream, you know, because, look, th this is a cell phone I carry normally, and uh, comparatively, th this and this was a huge cell phone. This is one of the largest cell phones I've ever owned, you know, that has, like, full, you know, touchscreen capabilities. And so viewing videos on the cell phone is really awesome, but viewing videos on this, is is so much better and uh, I don't mind carrying it around because it's look it's nice and slim you know not as slim as an e-ink reader but it's still relatively nice and slim scroll around you know so uh, oops uh, let's see like this so you can scroll around there you go so it's a uh, decently smooth I wouldn't say obviously it's not the best in the world but it's decently smooth and of course to get back to the home screen uh, you can just hit this button and you're back to the home screen all right so let's turn it off so uh in my opinion, for 250 bucks, I think this is a very, very awesome device, you know, that has a full web capabilities. And now, of course, obviously with some upgrades to it, the software upgrades, it's a lot better web browsing wise. You can uh, look at PDF files. Uh, you can, um, I have a bunch of Spyderco uh, catalogs on here in PDF files, and you can look at those. Uh, you can browse the web, you can read, read magazines. I mean, it's a great device for 250 bucks, and I, I think I would recommend this, honestly. So I hope this helped you out, Kane5565, um, and uh, I'll catch you all on the next video, all right? So take care.